I don't know if you might have gotten in by a shark. That's a big one. Fifty, sixty pounds alone too. <laughs> we're on, we're on, we're on, we're on, we're on. What's going on, guys? We are out here on Jason's boat. Jason's boat is a 21 tidewater, and it might not seem rough to you, but on a 21 foot boat, two to four is pretty big. Yes. It's also kind of hard to tell through video, but we are currently at this buoy just outside Hillsborough Inlet. Trying to catch some little Almaco jacks and blue runners. Today we are going to just drop anything we possibly can down onto the wreck and try to catch AJs. We're going to try to see if amberjacks are cannibals. I think they are. I think they will eat anything and everything. <laughs> so we're uh, jigging up some Almaco jacks right now and some runners, putting them in the well and then we're going to the wreck. Say hey Jason. What's going on guys? <laughs> there we go. There we go. There we go. Oh there's the whole school. See on top in the water, yeah. Oh wow. Here it comes. This is what we're trying to drop down. These are little Almaco jacks. And they look like an Amber Jack, but not quite. They got that top dorsal fin, a really high dorsal fin right there, and they got a really deep body. So we're getting these little Almaco jacks, and we're going to be using these for bait. Drop them down for These the big don't boys. have size limits, and you can actually also eat them, and they're very good. Yes, they are. And this is what we're catching them on a little white jig, like an eighth ounce jig. Ow. Tell us what's going on. Well, what's going on is it's rough out here. We're in a little boat and we already lost one AJ. The drag is locked down as much as it goes. And this is what we're using for bait. Smaller amber jacks. Smaller Al Almaco jacks. Almaco jacks. Almaco jacks. Jason, are we ready? Captain says we're not ready. Can you give us a quick answer to everyone's questions of why we floor it once we hook onto an AJ? Okay, so the way that we're fishing is we got this... Sorry. We're good to go? Yeah. Alright, so I'm going to drop it and explain that to you guys. So, a lot of people ask, why do we uh, floor the boat? And there's a simple reason for that. So we're fishing a giant shipwreck out here in Pompano. And since we're fishing on a shipwreck, these fish, they're structure oriented. These amberjacks sit on the wreck. And they want to get as close to the wreck as possible. Um, especially when you hook them because they freak out. So by pulling them off the wreck, we drive the other the other direction. They're still pulling drag and they're still pulling towards the wreck, but the angle of your line is not going to be vertical and you're not going to be fighting them right over the wreck. You're going to be fighting them off the wreck. So your likelihood of landing these fish and not getting broken off goes through the roof because you guys are driving away. We're literally pulling them off of the wreck and you have to. This yeah. is no joke. The reason we fish these big reels is because you have to. Uh, catching them on the spinning reels is not that easy. I'm fishing a 50 with like 35 pounds of drag, 125 pound leader, and these fish are still pulling it on lockdown. We're on, we're on! Oh, we got this one! Woo! Got one is low. Slow down, slow down, slow down. You sure? Slow down, yeah, we're. Alrighty! So, what we did is we just pulled them off the wreck, and now Vic's just gonna crank on them. Oh, yeah, we got them. Because we got them away from the wreck. Yeah, we got them far away. Woohoo! That thing's pulling, huh? Oh, yeah. Well, we're far away from the wreck now, aren't we? Yeah, I'm keeping it in gear, though, just because it's all sloppy out here. So, Boats. they were up. They were up. They were up, and they were off the wreck a yeah. little today. They are just cruising around, moving around. Because yeah. I was, I was getting hit for a while there, and the reason was because uh, my bait was all the way on bottom. I had to reel it up. We're close. We? We're all right. We're getting pretty good at this Asian thing, I'd say. Yeah, we're, we're figuring this out. We are figuring nice it out. Nice one! Circle hooks do the job. By the way, those ones that we caught the other day, we already used them for shark bait. So yes. we're going to use these ones for shark bait too. Just so you know, they don't go to waste. Yay! And if you say they go to waste, 
for sharks. That's not true because you can't justify what is right and not right to fish for. We like to fish for sharks, and this is good shark bait, so there you go. It's perfectly legal to keep. People have different uses for different fish, and we don't kill that many of them. We'll probably kill 10 amberjacks in the entire year. And yeah, so there we go. And one more thing. Amberjack <laughs> season is not closed on the Atlantic side, and that's where we are. Yes, yeah, so not in the Gulf. We no, they, it is closed in the Gulf, and we are in the Atlantic. Well, I was saying, yeah, we're not in the Gulf. Yeah. Alrighty, first one in the box. Gone in by a shark. That's a big one. We gotta be far away from the wreck. Here, guys, you wanna feel how hot the reel is? Yeah. Woo! Burning! <laughs> Did you feel it? <laughs> don't you guys don't understand? I've never. So, Victor, what does he eat? An amberjack. It ate an on the jack. We just got eight on an amberjack, just, just to put that in perspective. Dropping down live amberjacks, and then this happens. That's just is an Alamo Jack an Amberjack? Yeah. I mean, it's part of the Amberjack family, yeah. Okay, well, can we specify Alamo though? Yeah, so when we say we're dropping down Amberjacks, we're dropping down Alamo Jacks, which are a member of the Amberjack family, but they're not like greater Amberjack or lesser Amberjack. And these guys are straight cannibals. Yeah. They're straight animals, too. I'm telling you guys that 50 pounder we caught in that last video did not pull. An eighth no. of the line that this guy did. This is kind of scaring me. This. Yeah, uh, this what this is, this is big fish. It's pulling still. Yeah. Like. See, people say that catching it like this isn't fun. Are you kidding? It's so much fun. It's so much fun. There are very few things that can pull this people, much line with this much pressure on them. Going like eight knots away from the fish. This thing is a real monster. These things pull. AJ's are black. You're hating on this kind and of fishing. And not people say it's unsportsmanlike. No, it's this is this is the technique you have to use to land some of these big fish offshore. Especially the wrecks down by us, like Pompano and the Hydro and Boca. You guys want to go ahead and lose two hundred dollars in jigs? Be my guest. I've done it before. Um, sometimes the only way to land them is on these big bent butt reels. Not standing up with some clear tubing, and you guys got to run away from the wreck. You got to pull these fish off the wreck to land. No way. Yep, got shark. We got shark. Oh, it's a giant AJ. Oh, dude. Oh my oh, god. Oh my god. There's a one nail and a half. That is crazy. Wow. All right, you Whoa. take the boat out of here. Whoa. That's a thumbnail. No <laughs> way. Dude, what the heck? Holy. <laughs> That thing got destroyed. <laughs> wow. Like, completely destroyed. Oh my God. Well, you know, I thought I seen it kind of go like this. Did you see that yeah. at one point? Yep. It got really heavy. Yeah, yeah, he when got you called really it, got shark. Oh my God. Jeez. Well, we definitely got sharked. Look at that hook. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my God. Wait, let me see. Wow. That's, that, let me get it. That get shark. <laughs> That shark made child's play out of this AJ and that hook. <laughs> That's unreal. This wow. AJ was probably 50, 60 pounds alone too. <laughs> that was probably, no, the head, yeah, I mean, yeah, maybe. Jason is hooked up on the jig. Oh, nice fit, what is that? Yeah. Full grown. Oh boy. That was not good. Yeah. Catch on the pier with a spoon. Oh, are we on? We're on a fish. We're on. We're on, we're on, we're on, we're on. 
Here, I'll take care of the bonita. Unreal. No. Nope. Cut? Completely. Completely either, cut? Either by, cut? Completely cut either by a shark or the just knot just broke right there. But it looks like a clean cut, doesn't it? I Definitely that. looks like a clean cut, especially because there's zero fray. Yeah, that was strange. Huh. Wow. What'd you have out of here? Alright guys, Brick and I just got back to the dock. Jason took us out again and um, just dropped us off. But I want you guys to see something real quick. So this is the AJ that got completely destroyed by a shark. And look at it next to a 30 pound amberjack right there. The thing is like, the thing's head is half as big already as this entire AJ. This was a giant amberjack. And it's straight in that hook, and that shark straight in that hook, and this head alone is like 15, 20 pounds. This thing is no joke. You can barely grab it. It's a freaking monster. And that shark just completely destroyed this amberjack. So, kind of scary to think about those things live in the ocean. So you definitely do not want to get bit by a shark, for sure. But uh, it was a great day on the water. Thank you guys for watching. Until that next video, stay salty, my friends. Stay salty. <laughs>